you will learn more about multiplication. Bhim eats 265 laddus every day. How many laddus does he eat in 25 days? To find how many laddus Bhim eats, we have to multiply 265 by 25. Multiplying 265 by 25 is the same as multiplying 265 by 5 and 20 and then adding their products. When multiplying with a two-digit number, we start multiplying with the digit at the ones place. So, we will first multiply 265 by 5. The product of 265 and 5 is 1325. Now, we will multiply 265 by 20. Any number multiplied by a multiple of 10 has 0 at its units place. So, before we multiply 265 by 20, we place a 0 at the units place in the product. Now, we multiply 265 by the 2 at the tens place. And then, write the product to the left of the 0 that we have placed at the units place. Note that the product with the digit at the units place is written from the units place towards the left. And the product with the digit at the tens place is written from the tens place towards the left. Finally, we add the two products together. The sum is 6625. Thus, Bhim eats 6625 laddus in 25 days. Bhim is also very fond of apples. Here are 132 baskets of apples, each containing 354 apples. How many apples are there in all? To find the total number of apples, we have to multiply 354 by 132. This is the same as multiplying 354 by 2, 30 and 100 and then adding the products. We start multiplying with the digit at the ones place. So, we will first multiply 354 by 2. The product of 354 and 2 is 708. Now we will multiply 354 by 30. As explained before, when multiplying with the digit at the tens place, we place a zero at the units place in the product. We multiply 354 by the 3 at the tens place and write the product to the left of the zero that we have placed at the units place. Now we will multiply 354 by 100. When multiplying with the digit at the hundredths place, we place two zeros at the units and the tens places in the product. We then multiply 354 by the one at the hundredths place. And then write the product to the left of the two zeros that we have placed at the units and the tens places. Note that the product with the digit at the units place is written from the units place towards the left. The product with the digit at the tens place is written from the tens place towards the left. And the product with the digit at the hundreds place is written from the hundreds place towards the left. Finally, we add the three products. Thus, there are 46,000 728 apples in all.